Wow, I've literally been sitting there for the last like two or three minutes just sitting and looking at this wolf's notification and I just don't even know where to start. Spurs fans, I feel so bad for y'all. Wow. Y'all just traded away your best player, DeJounte Murray. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I am sick for y'all. I'm not even oh the Spurs fan. I'm a heap. I don't know they hate the Spurs. I don't hate the Spurs though. I just obviously am not a fan of them, but DeJounte Murray, according to Woj. He is now a Atlanta Hawk for Danilo Gallinari and multiple first round picks. We're talking about first year All Star this year, DeJounte Murray, one of the best three players in basketball, one of the best offensive players in basketball. You better have traded him for at least four first round picks. You're going to get back Danilo Gallinari, who probably be waived. So you're trading away. Probably. It should be. They want, like I said, a, they wanted, I didn't say yet, but they wanted a Drew Holiday type package, three first round picks, Eric Bledsoe, and that might have been it from the Pelicans to um, the Bucks. Okay. Wow. I'm not going to lie. I did not think there's nothing more we get traded. I know Jake Fisher was going there. I know he isn't really the best source. He was talking about the shit. I was like, hell no. Ain't no way they're about to trade. Um, they said there's going to be John Collins and DeJounte Murray swap. I'm like, John Collins is literally on the floor. Regress last year is on a huge deal, way overpaid. DeJounte Murray's right nearing his prime, had his best season by far, best player on the team by far. As he was the number one option last year with DeMar DeRozan gone, shown why he has so much potential. And then the next year, you trade him away. I had your guys getting eight. I thought you were actually going to try to go for that playoff, play and spy at the minimum. Y'all trade away your best player. I'm about to say this, was Nordy. Y'all better have gotten something else. It better have been at least four first round picks because you took on that ass Gallinari contract and traded away your best player. Spurs fan, I'm sick for y'all right now. I'm literally about to throw up as a Heat fan. I'm not even a Spurs fan at all. And like I said, y'all beat us in the final. I'm supposed to hate y'all, but wow. The backup for the Hawks now is DeJounte Murray and Trey Young. Wow. It's going to be interesting to see how they go ahead and do that. I just wrapped the battle. I love this trade for them. Obviously, Trey Young is probably one of the worst defenders in basketball. Yeah, one of the best defenders in basketball. In the backcourt with him. Oh my God, you have two of the league's best playmakers on one team now. Like, oh my God, that's insane. Um, that's not even a good trade. If we're being honest. Okay, I thought it's that the trade said for Trey Young I was about to put a bullet through my skull. Um, okay, so we said uh, the Hawks are sending three first round picks and a future pick swap to the Spurs for the John Tamir All Star NBA guard Trey Young. Spurs, why did my light always get bright as soon as I prick a cord? Like, same thing happened last time, but like, bro, Spurs fans, DeJounte Murray is now a Hawk. Hawks fans, y'all gotta be. I know, I know a Hawk fan out there. I, I know he's happy as so hell right now, but bro oh my god like i said i did not expect this trade to happen and it actually happened and i'm i was like i said i was frozen for like a minute or two like i said right off the bat love this trade for dejounte murray going ahead and going to a team that kind of got a little bit scarier now um i again i just right off the bat just didn't know how this would work out dejounte and trey young are both point guards you can kind of play i guess i forgot how I mean, technically speaking, Trey Young potentially could kind of be off ball. Primary playmaker being DeJounte Mert. Honestly, just makes no sense at all. DeJounte and Trey will both be under size at the two. I just, it's just such an odd trade. I just thought it was a rumor that just came out of nowhere, but it actually happened. Not even four pricks. It's a pick swap in three firsts and Gallinari's dog shit contract like Spurs. Y'all were supposed to do this like Coach Pops on his last year. You don't want to go ahead and go to the plane? Y'all just want to trade away your best player? I know y'all... Okay, are y'all going for rebuild now? Y'all want to develop uh, Sohan and Primo and Vassell and Keldon? Because, like, what the fuck? Like, y'all were in the plane last year with Dante Murray. Um, oh, y'all really were like a center away from being a not-so-bad team. But, um, it's uh, very, very disgusting. Then else that Wolves just said, wow, I'm actually throwing up right now. It's actually disgusting. Uh, the Hawks are sending a 2023 pick via Charlotte 
in their own 2025 2027 first round pick in the spurs deal spurs also gonna pick up in 2026 so funny how good this duo actually ends up working with the good first round picks for uh the spurs but y'all going for a rebuild ah i don't like this trade at all for the spurs i'm gonna be honest it's a good first round pick swaps but Y'all didn't even get John Collins. Y'all got Gallinari. Like, I don't want any one of them, but I would rather take Collins than take Gallinari. Take Collins, eventually trade him toward the trade deadline, get some pieces for him. On the other hand, you have Gallinari, you probably will just wave and some other contender will go ahead and try to pick him up. What the fuck? I need to find out who the Spurs GM is because that man has to be on bath salt. That man has to be on some hardcore drugs. That man just cannot be a real person. Hold on. Spurs general manager. That's how much I don't even know who their GM is. Spurs general manager, Brian Wright. My man, you are down horrendous. Kidding with your best player. By far, the best thing for the Spurs since the big three of Tim Duncan, Manu Ginobili, and Tony Parker, obviously. Actually, no. Kawhi Leonard. Third best thing second best thing since then i should say okay come on come on. fox w i don't know like i said i don't know how trey and the job are gonna work out two of the league's top 10 playmakers it's maybe the point guard you can kind of play that off ball role like a stephen curry let both of them kind of bring the ball up but they're again they're both undersized guards like kind of gives credit trade up kind of um cushion as being not kind of ability to even hit it more on defense with the being the um other guard right there so you can kind of put the best defender we'll go ahead and be guarded by Shanti murray especially the guard wide instead of trey getting absolutely baked and uh cooked on defense so wow i am disgusted now if i'm a spurs fan thankful i'm not a spurs fan uh wow 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 wow, wow. or first round picks for your best player hopefully they end up paying out for y'all no, y'all, is this why y'all traded? Is this why y'all uh, not traded up? Is this why y'all drafted Primo so high last year? Because y'all think he's your point of the future without DeJounte Murray being there. Like, again, it was supposed to be a rumor that didn't happen. I was like, no way. After this draft, no way it's going to happen. And it happened. Like, come on, Spurs. Like, what are y'all doing? Like, what the fuck are y'all doing, dog? Like, I, again, I'm literally at a loss for words right now i am originally lost of words right now i literally don't know i guess the spurs can go ahead and tank for victor what's his name victor um when ben yama to be their center next year that one that's not why they went ahead and just drafted primo to be the point guard last year and now they're gonna better get their franchise center victor next year it's only day after the He's gonna be number one pick playing on this play this year. I don't know what he's been playing over. He's some shit. He is gonna have to fall for y'all in the boy overall pick. And it's decided by a ball drop. It's not like, you know, worst record in the NFL, you get the first overall pick. No, the ball has to fall to you. So you can do all this and still not get Victor next year. So what the fuck? Like, yeah, Galinari should be easily be gone. Damn, that is absolute shit. Wow. The Spurs now went from a uh, troll team last year to being on paper one of the worst teams in basketball with all these young players. And without their best player, DeJounte Murray, like I said, I'm still at a loss of words right now. I don't even know what to say about my Spurs fan. I know a Spurs fan out there. I repeat to you, my man. I repeat to you. All right, P. 25 years old. Getting with your best player. This is me, Coach Pop. He's on his way out. I don't know. This is definitely not a good look at all. Hate this trade with the Spurs. Trading on your best player for first round picks. Uh, might pan out, might not pan out. Uh, I'm out, bro. This this just pissed me the fuck off as a basketball fan. What the fuck are y'all doing, bro? Ah, Spurs fans, comment down below. I know y'all an absolute pan. I actually know two Spurs fans. So, uh, gotta check up on them. I gotta to check up on them. But, uh, Hawks, W. Also, do know a Hawks fan, though. He's definitely part of Loon's voice right now. So, uh, there's that. But, uh, the Hawks should trade for the uh, Spurs. Love the trade for the Hawks. Definitely want to see how DeJounte and Trey kind of pan out. They're literally two point guards. And again, here goes my light going from bright to dark mid video once again. I got to get out of my lightning. My lighting, I should say, is trolling me right now. So I got to get off, okay?
But other than that, yo, that is the original gun below. Drop a like, comment down below. Sub up, let's follow me on Twitch, Twitter. Thanks for watching your boy John. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I'm out, man. Peace.